Okay, so you're going to do reclining pigeon. So you need your long resistance band. Well, if you need your long resistance band, you might not. So you're going to pop the foot across, come through with the hands over the front of the knee, and then relax down. If you can get your head and back nice and relaxed on the floor without using the band, then do so. But if not, then wrap the resistance band around the front of the knee here. And then so you can relax. It's really important to relax into the pose. Right, I'm going to start the clock. Three, two, one, go. So this is a three minute pose hold. So keep your arms nice and long if you're using the band. Okay, and just pull in until you feel that stretch in the hip of the bent leg into the glute. Glute muscles are part of the hip. And if you want to increase it a little bit, you just kind of press out with the knee a little bit and pull in with the other. And then hold. Once you've got that stretch, just relax. So focus in on the breath work. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed, even though you're pulling on the band, just keep the arms long. This one's a great stretch for the deep hip rotators, the deep hip muscles like the piriformis. Remember to inhale for four and exhale for eight. Feel the stretch ease, just pull in a little bit closer. Okay, we've got one minute left in this position. on the breath work for me in for four through the nose out for eight through the mouth okay we're into our last 20 seconds Okay, change size for me. So loop that band around if you're using the band. Just over the front of the knee, long arms. Okay, three, two, one, go. This one feels tight today.
you feel that hip relax, just creep your hands more up the band and pull in a little bit closer. Okay, we've got one minute left. Okay, last 20 seconds. And slowly, carefully come out of that. Okay, we're gonna do a three minute forward fold finish the session. So legs are forward, gap between the legs and then reach up for me nice and tall. So big reach up and we're going to bend forward from the hips. I'm going to start the clock okay, and reach forward as far as you can. Reach the hands out, out, out and then when you've got that position relax the head, palms up to the ceiling and stay here. Try and think of that wet noodle principle. So just like really relax the body, relax the head and neck. Make sure the knees are a little bit soft. Any pressure on the lower back, you can pop a yoga block underneath your butt or you can bend the legs a little bit more, take the pressure off the lower back. Over the course of three minutes, hopefully you relax into the pose more and more. Close your eyes if it helps you relax. Okay, we're into our final minute. Focus on that breath work. Inhale for four, exhale for eight. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, 
And then slowly, slowly coming out of that. Well done. That's it. Ten minutes goes quickly, huh? <laughs> well done. Good stuff. Right, hopefully see you later for gravity yoga. Have a cool day. <laughs> see you later.